Hello, this is Nishant here, a student of Vedantu OMM Level 8. And here I am presenting an alternate solution for INMO Problem 1 2024. So let us assume that angle CAB, which is equal to angle CBA, is equal to theta, as shown in the figure. And let the midpoint of FC be O1, and the circumcenter of triangle EGB be O2. We will now join BE, O1E and O2E and we will let the length of uh, line segment CE be A. So we can clearly see that by angle chasing angle FGA is equal to theta by parallelity. Similarly angle AFG is equal to 180 degrees minus theta and angle EGB is equal to 180, 180 minus 2 theta and 180 minus theta. So then we have to prove that O1F is equal to O1E, but as O1 is the midpoint of the hypotenuse FC, hence O1 is the circumcenter of triangle ECF and O1E is equal to O1F. Then angle O1EB is equal to angle O1EF minus angle FEB. Clearly, angle O1EB is equal to angle O1EF minus angle FEB and angle which is then equal to angle O1EF minus angle CBE as a, by, parla, by parallelity angle FEB is equal to angle CBE. Calculating we find that angle O1EB is equal to 90 degrees minus theta. Then we claim that O1, O2E are collinear as O2 is the circumcenter of triangle EGB, angle EO2B is equal to, is twice the angle of EGB because uh, the segment inscribes twice the angle at the center than on the circumference. So 180 degrees minus 360 minus 2 theta becomes the reflex angle and angle EO2B will become 2 theta. Yes, 2 theta. Then, as EO2 is equal to O2B, clearly angle O2EB is equal to 90 degrees minus theta. But, so 90 degrees minus theta, but angle O1EB is equal to 90 degrees minus theta as well. So, E, O1 and O2 must be collinear in that case. Then we claim that E O1 is equal to A upon 2 sin 2 theta. Now again referring to the diagram. E O1 is the circumradius. And we know that by sine rule E C upon angle sine angle E F C is equal to twice of the circumradius. So that's twice E O1. Hence A upon sine 180 degrees minus 2, th 2 theta which is equal to a upon sine 2 theta is equal to 2 twice of EO1. Hence, EO1 is equal to a upon twice of sine 2 theta as I have, we have written here. Next, we claim that EO2 or the circumradius of triangle EGB is A upon sine 2 theta. Now observe that in triangle ECB cos angle CEB is equal to EC upon EB that is adjacent upon hypotenuse. Cos angle ECB is theta clearly by as angle CEB is equal to angle CAB. Hence, cos theta is equal to A upon EB. Hence, EB is equal to A upon cos theta, as I've written here. Now, by sine rule in triangle EGB, A upon A upon cos theta 
upon sine 180 minus theta is equal to a upon sine theta cos theta a upon sine theta cos theta but the 2r that's equal to 2r so e o2 which is r will become a upon 2 sine theta cos theta which is equal to a upon sine 2 theta now the last claim that we make in the final one is that o1 o2 is equal to e o1 which is equal to a upon 2 sine 2 theta now e o2 is equal to a upon sine 2 theta while e o1 is equal to a upon 2 sine 2 theta but e o1 and o2 are collinear so o1 o2 is equal to the total segment e o2 minus e o1 which is a upon 2 sine 2 theta which is equal to the circumradius or e o1 of triangle c e f hence o2 lies on the circum circle of triangle e c f which was what we had to prove I've written it here as well. Then so to also lies on the circum circle of triangle ECF and hence proved. Thank you and happy solving from my side.